Meat City, baby. Hello and welcome back to Meat City Gaming. JD here with another achievement guide for Jurassic World Evolution 2. Today we are covering Do You Think He Saw Us? This is for completing the California Challenge map in Jurassic World Evolution 2. And the other challenge videos, I did challenge videos, walkthroughs for all of them uh, that require the Jurassic difficulty challenges one, two, three, four, and five. Those are very difficult, very long and arduous, uh, a whole lot of investment in terms of time to complete those at like 10 hours maybe to get through uh, those missions and those challenges. This one thankfully is very easy maybe so easy that you don't even need a video but for the sake of completeness this is one that was i believe added in the latest uh, as of the time of this video dlc that was uh, was added to the game it is a paid dlc i think it's part of the multi expansion pack i could have that wrong uh, but it is the last challenge listed on the challenge page it's all the way at the bottom you do need to have at least two stars in the challenge mode so you can't do this one first you have to get at least two stars uh in the earlier missions for this one to be available and then it is kind of a cakewalk. Um, it's a little bit different though and interesting, which is I think what justifies the video here. So in this challenge, you are not building or managing the park at all. Instead, you are put in direct control of one of the, uh, the Jeeps that drives around the park. And your goal is to photograph all of the dinosaurs that are present on the map. And as you progress through the map and start photographing the dinosaurs, there are two additional sections that open up when you hit certain milestones. Now, one of the difficult parts of the, the challenge, maybe the only difficult part of the challenge, is that you don't get access to the map. You can't leave that first person or third person view of the Jeep to zoom out and see where you are and plan and look at, oh, okay, I'm here, now I need to go here. There's no map access, but it is a pretty well-contained area. And the one thing that you do get is the uh, the dino radar at the top of the bar of the screen you can see where dinosaurs are when you get within a certain range an icon will pop up on that compass or that radar at the top and then you can see okay i need to go this direction and there'll be dinosaurs here and even better once you photograph them the icon changes from a brightly lit icon to a dimmed icon with a check mark and so that makes this pretty easy i don't think there was ever a time where i did this challenge and was completely stuck with nothing on the radar and no indication of where to go for dinosaurs. If you get to one, the next one will usually be uh, visible from, from some angle on your screen. Uh, so what you wanna do, you can set this to any difficulty you want. You can set it to easy, you can set it to Jurassic. Easy gives you more time, but the time it gives you is like 30 minutes. And literally the first time I tried this, I completed it in about five without rushing. Um, so I don't think time is going to be a factor. Difficulty won't matter. Just pick whatever you want and play through it. The way that I did it, if you drive out the front gate, you start in a little base with a, with a gate in front of you, drive your Jeep straight out of the gate and go to the right. And if you go to the right, you'll get a couple of dinosaurs on the way and you'll make this loop around and you'll cut through a, after you make the loop, you'll cut through a little path in the woods and you'll end up back at the base. And there's an actual, there's a second gate there. There's a side gate that lets you into the same base. You'll drive right past your starting point and you can come out the front again. You'll see maybe four or five dinosaurs when you do that. And this time when you come out the front gate, again, you'll have made a complete circle. You're coming out the front gate this time, go left. And now as you go left, there'll be, I think one or two little dead end extensions where you're on the main path and there'll be a branch, take the branch and it'll end in a little lagoon area. There'll be a dino or two, take their picture, come back out to the main road and then keep going. It is a winding path, it twists and bends. It's not like a straight shot, uh, but the boundaries are there. You'll, you'll run into the boundaries. They're white lines, so you can't cross them. You'll see them. Just keep going in the path that you're going, follow the radar icons, take the pictures. And when the map, one of the weird things about this is when you hit that threshold, the, um, the expand territory icon kind of pops up for a quick second and it wants you to click in the left stick one time I was able to do it and I think it was easier. The second time when I was recording this, I didn't do it fast enough and it disappeared. And I don't think it matters. I think the map still opens up, but just be ready for it and click it and then you won't have any issues. Um, again, I don't think it matters, but just in case. Uh, the only other thing to say here is there are some flying dinosaurs. And so 
if you if you were like looking at the ground and you're taking a picture and you're like I, the dinosaur should be here it's on the radar where is it maybe look up they might be flying they might be in the trees uh, but they can be you know little tiny guys on the ground or flyers up above so they can be quite different uh positioned in terms of their verticality other than that pretty straightforward um you'll be able to get through this in a, as i said about five minutes you'll kind of twist and turn and bend up and over and at the very end you'll cross into the, the second section that opens up and uh and you'll see an indominus rex i think that's the last dino that you're going to see on almost every run they're in that last little section and as soon as you take the last picture of the last dino the mission automatically ends gives you the achievement and backs you out and tells you your time so that's it for this one Hopefully the, uh, the video, the playthrough will help you out if you get stuck, but you're probably going to be fine as long as you follow the radar. So that's going to wrap this one up. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.